think it's it's 53 by 76. That's my guess. Full or double size mattresses are built to industry standard dimensions. Full beds are approximately 53 inches wide by 75 inches long. 53, 75. Okay, so let's measure out. So the um, line is going to be inside. The line will be way more the chalk line is. You know, we want the chalk line to light up. Oh. So the mattress is going to come to right here. Oh wait, so what about the storage? I was going to put a trap door right here. So like in this area right here, there'd be a door that has hinges on it that goes right. and goes up. And then you'd have like a 12 inch deep space in there. So the first stair would come to like right here and then go over. All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're here in the platform bedroom uh, or teen bedroom renovation. Uh, we're getting this uh, smaller room downstairs in the main level of our house uh, renovated and ready for our middle daughter to live in. And so today we're gonna do another plan and build. Uh, we're gonna be working on the, 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 the main structure of the platform bed and also a built-in desk and a few other little things. We're gonna be kind of building the, uh, the, the groundwork for that, laying things out as you saw here and, uh, and getting things ready to be covered. Um, a lot of little, little things to, to design and plan and, and I'm sure plans will change as I go here. So uh, let me just kind of uh, show you what the idea is that we're gonna start with and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got the, the room's been all prepped, uh, drywall fixed, and the floor's been sealed. This is on a slab concrete floor here. And so we've started laying a few things out uh, with Kayla, um, some things that she wanted. And so basically what we're going to have is we're going to add some dimension to this room rather than just having a bed and a desk in here. Uh, we're going to kind of build it all together and build it up a little bit. And so this is kind of the area where the bed will be. It'll be a platform. Uh, we're working on figuring the height out right now of how high that's going to go up. It'll be some kind of a platform. We're going to have a desk with some kind of uh, drawers or cabinets or something underneath it. And so this will be a big desk area. We'll have a little, uh, little wall that will come up the height of the desk here. And then this will be some kind of stair or stairs that will lead up to the platform. We may add some cubbies in the back uh, for extra storage. Um, I might add like a trap door or some kind of way to get underneath here for storage uh, and just kind of build everything in. We're gonna have some outlets near the bed and a bunch of other stuff I'll do in later videos. But today, uh, we're just gonna try to get the bones of this thing put together and we'll kind of take you through the process for uh, building the frame on this. Okay, so the ones that are gonna be in contact with the concrete have to be treated. So we're going to cut these first. Was it 115 and a half on the no, back wall? No, it was 100. A bunch of pieces to go in between, right? This saw is nice versus using a, a hand saw, yeah. circular saw, because this fence, this is called a fence, this makes sure that everything is perfectly 90 degree angle, right? So when this blade comes down, this is a perfect 90 degree angle to this. So it's a perfectly yeah. straight cut every single time. Yeah. Everything's 16 on center in construction. So uh, 115 inches, that was like eight-ish feet. We're gonna need a bunch of these, right? We're gonna need them for the ends and the other side and everything. 48 and three quarters, then what? 65. Is that right? Okay, so we can make this easier. So it needs to be. Okay, that's good. So now, let's see, you can just take this, pull it in there, boom. Ooh, that's 16 and a quarter. Take the next piece, put it in there, put it up for the block, cut, boom, 16 and a quarter. Yep, so I just put a mark at 16, 32, and you see all the red ones. Now just transfer that mark onto this board at each spot. Yeah, mine's not straight. Okay.
So put it in at an angle and then use your hammer to put it in place. So which one was this, the back? Yeah. starting to come together here. So this is the, the part I've been trying to figure out. Um, a lot of complicated things here, I guess, but uh, I need more supports in here, obviously, uh, to support the plywood as it goes in. Uh, I also have an outlet here, an outlet there, and another one that is right around the corner here on the edge of that stud. And so I'm gonna cover most of those outlets out. I am gonna have some wiring in here to some outlets I'm putting in the floor and other things you'll see later. But the, the deal is with code is that you have to have, there's connections in there that I can't get rid of and I can't pull new wire because it's secured in the wall. Uh, so I'm gonna cover those over, but you have to have access to that connection still. So uh, I'm trying to figure out how to have access to underneath the bed uh, that could be used for storage but also just to have to meet code just to be able to get in there and then over here we're going to have that trap door and so i think i have a figured out so i think we're going to put a support down the middle here and then underneath the desk that's going to be in front of this we'll have an access panel or a little door that will open you can get in there and that's big enough for an adult to actually crawl through so you could get all the way in here and then that would give access to that outlet um, and then give a little storage space uh, in the front part of this. This part right here, so this is four feet to right here, so I can put a four foot piece of plywood across that. Uh, this is, uh, will be sealed off and uh, we'll put a piece of plywood across that. I'll have a support in the middle. And then this big area here, I have the outlet in the back and the outlet over here. So this is where our trap door is gonna go right in the middle. 
I think I have figured out how to run a few connection pieces across here and make a make a square <laughs> in the top of this. So we'll see how it turns out. It's going to be a bunch of two by fours uh, running everywhere. I can't put an excess in the front here because we'll have the stairs that are going to be in front of this, and I couldn't. I just couldn't think of a good way to to have access there. And so uh, the trap door is going to be going to be access to this whole big area under here. So, so I'm going to start getting uh, some of the supports in, start kind of tying this together with some screws, getting this kind of uh, squared up and, and kind of secured together here. And then we'll work on some of the supports over on this side. gonna be a wrap for right now everything is framed in uh, still a little bit of, uh, of work to do with some stair uh, framing and, and a few bits and pieces but the next step is going to be to figure out how I'm gonna cover the flooring in there whether I'm gonna use just some vinyl flooring or something on the inside of that uh, those little storage compartments underneath the bed uh, or whether I'm gonna use some kind of a plywood box or something so I have to figure some of that out and then we'll get this thing all covered and ready for a bed all right well this wraps up the the first phase of this project and uh, it's always getting it's always exciting at this point when things start to come together and you can actually visualize the plan but i'd love to hear your input your thoughts since this is a up another plan and build uh, i take all your comments and input on uh, what do you think i should add or change or do differently uh, i always get great ideas from you guys and so this is where this is your chance to to, uh, to help me out <laughs> and, I, and I always welcome that. So I'm hoping to kind of keep chugging along on this project um, every day, every other day working on this. I wanna get this done as soon as possible. So you should see more of these videos coming out regularly as I kind of uh, jump back and forth between springtime uh, gardening season and, uh, and working in here and getting this done. So don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video and of course subscribe if this is your first time here. I'd love to have you tag along. We do lots of DIY projects and farming and gardening and self-sustaining type things. And so we love to have you tag along for all of our future videos. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.